This is Entrepreneur Studio with Patrick Bryant, brought to you by SC Biz News, the Harbor Entrepreneur Center, Code and Trust, trusted co-founders in tech, and our sponsor, Harbor Wealth Management Group. Scott Millwood is one of the founders of Next, the building that we're sitting in here in Greenville. You also are a co-founder of the Next Founders Fund, which is a fund to help startups in the Greenville community. You are crucial to the ecosystem here. Uh, you exited YesFlow, which is your business right. of many, many years. But I wanna talk about the the Founders Fund and specifically how you guys decided to, to do that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, thank you for having me. Um, so the next Founders Fund is a micro fund, $6 million. And it really came out of a, a need that we saw in the ecosystem here where there's a gap of founders who are kind of in that very early stage. They're not attractive to traditional VC. You know, as you know, that sort of attraction comes in about a million in recurring revenue, teams in place, customers, things are kind of going well. This is really for those founders that are at that point where maybe they've got a product that they paid outside development to build, maybe have a customer, maybe have some revenue, and they look around and go, well, who do I talk to? Where do I go? They need cash, yes, but what they also need is leadership, guidance, talent. So we jump in early stage to fill that gap, help them build out the management team, maybe help them get a co-founder, maybe help them bring on a professional development team, probably help them with a go-to-market strategy, product market fit might be needed. So, you know, kind of down to swimming in the mud where, where I've spent a lot of my career. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. the seed investments and that mentorship at that early stage is crucial yes. and key. Yes. How did you guys know that you had something? I mean, raising a fund like that is not an easy proposition. Yes, yeah, so particularly right now. You know, market overall is, is kind of a train wreck. So mm -hmm. we thought, well, maybe it's not a great time. But, you know, we knew that the demand was there from the founder side, right? There's always the, the startup community Need looking for, for a way to go. Yes. Uh, and we had talked with a few potential exited founders. So our thesis is exited founders investing back into the next wave of founders. Mm -hmm. We really knew that we had something when we sat down with a couple of uh, potential limited partners. And, and I think our second meeting, we were 10 minutes into our kind of presentation discussion and talk and, and the, 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 the potential turned and looked at me and said, well, I'm all the way in 100%. The question is only how much, mm -hmm. and I wanna be a big participant. So just let me know what that needs to be. Mm. And I kind of walked out of that and looked at, at you know, Shay, co-founder in, uh, in the fund, and was like, okay, well, I think we're hitting a nerve. Yeah. yeah. And, and I, I, I tell a similar story with the Harbor Entrepreneur Center, which is when we were starting the Accelerator, we were going out to help the community and I sent an email to 26 known entrepreneurs in Charleston and said, would you be willing to give of your time to help yeah. mentor these companies? And I got 18 yeses yeah. by the end of yeah. that day. Yeah. And I, I knew we had yeah. something. Right. I right. knew then yeah. we, people yeah. want to support this and we can make yeah. a difference. Yeah, quick reaction tells a story. Exactly. Yeah. So thanks for sharing that with yep. us. Yep, absolutely.